Look at that. We're taking a live look here at Tom McCall Waterfront Park, where hundreds of people are gathering down there today, taking advantage of our beautiful summer weather to float the Willamette River in this year's Big Float event. Of course, Blues Fest was in the same spot last weekend, and now more people out there enjoying this beautiful summer day in Portland's downtown. It's a gorgeous sight, isn't it? Welcome to Coin 6 News. At 5 o'clock, I'm Wayne Haverly, and our Joelle Jones, she now joins us live. She's down there at the waterfront where there's still a lot of people out there that are out floating in the Willamette. Joelle? That's right, Wayne. After 10 years of revolution, the big float is hanging up its tube. Earlier, we spoke with organizers who tell us at this point, putting on the event has become too much energy for their mostly volunteer team. And as although many are sad to see this event go, we've seen hundreds flock to the Willamette today to send off this tradition with a splash. We're going to show you some video of this event that we took earlier today. Starting at 11 this morning and still going strong, the popular Portland summertime event is a celebration of the Willamette River. Today's last bash included inner tube, an inner tube parade, live music, and of course, the famous float. The event is organized by the Human Access Project, a volunteer nonprofit devoted to connecting the community with the river. After two years off due to the pandemic and 12 years since the first float, ringleader, ringleader Willie Levinson says it's hard to say goodbye to an event that meant so much to so many. Um, it is a little bittersweet to have it today. Um, a lot of heart has gone into this and a lot of people get joy from this event. But, you know, for us, it, we really feel like what this event set out to do has been done. As a volunteer organization, Levinson says navigating the water safety and other elements of the event have become increasingly complicated as the celebration grew, but says ultimately the mission of the Human Access Project was to help the people of Portland fall in love with the river, and he believes the big float did just that. Now, while Levinson says they that he believes that this event did accomplish their mission. He tells us that the Human Access Project is now working on new and other innovative ways to still connect pe the people of Portland to the river. Live in downtown Portland tonight, I'm Joel Jones, Coin 6 News. Yeah.